What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today I'm joined with the Marsman crew to review Minecraft Legends for every platform out there. And we've done this, this type of video before where we kind of go one by one to kind of go through our the good, the bad, and give our official ratings and whether or not you should buy this now, later, or not at all. So, guys, let's jump right into it. I mean, when I'm thinking about the good of Minecraft Legends, the first, the biggest thing. Just to keep this in mind, guys, just overall about the game is that it's kind of like that, that, you know, you're building, you're kind of siege against other castles. You're kind of, you know, doing the kind of part of Minecraft that was kind of its own separate mod or mode, but they kind of condensed it into its own entire game, which makes it feel like it's kind of bigger than uh, what it really yeah. was. It was really Strategy, tower defense. Yeah, yeah. And originally it was just a game mode within Minecraft alone. So now, they kind of expanded upon it. They kind of made it its own title. So I'm thinking overall about the good. I think the fact that you think about the building mechanics and that kind of goes along with why, you know, why I like this so much was the fact you can do a lot of things like building, you have attacking, you can start rallying support from troops or from your allies, and you can even go and scavenge like all these different things make this a very a, a fun experience. It's, it's definitely a different thing if you've never played Minecraft before. So I thought that this was a good thing uh, overall, especially when you compare this to a lot of other games within its genre. It kind of seems very unique. Um, I mean, I guess if you're going to make some comparisons, like over the top kind of, um, you know, looters and things like that, those things are kind of interesting. Um, but I think Minecraft Legends does a good job with its basic mechanic. Now, overall, I think that some of the other things, I, I think it's a little clunky in the beginning with this gameplay, but I think once you get the hang of it, it's actually not, not that bad. And I think that's where a lot of people will kind of have a little bit of difficulty in the beginning because they have to get used to how the gameplay is. And once you get there, then I think it's pretty good. Um, and I feel like some of these game modes I thought were, were pretty cool. I think the story, the campaign with, with your friends is pretty cool, but I really enjoyed that lost colony mode, like that horde mode. It's like that survival mode. I thought that was probably the best part of our experience playing this. We played this two nights on stream. You can find that in uh, on our Twitch channel, which is located in the description below, by the way, if you want to go check that out. Um, but we played two nights of this and I thought it was really fun to you know, really jump into these different modes. But overall, a fun experience. Uh, I want to jump around next. Let's go to Haki. What was your good for Minecraft Legends? Yeah, so my good uh, was the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay was smooth. I thought fighting um, and gathering things. Uh, they made it pretty simple uh, for someone that didn't play Minecraft at all, and I don't believe you guys played it either. Um, you know, it was it was made for everyone. You know, um, and my favorite part was probably the multiplayer uh, versus mode. Although we'll get into the bad part, which I'm sure we're all uh, in agreement there. But um, <clears throat> the multiplayer was cool. We kind of all slipped into our, our roles. Marsman was the builder. He was building the crazy fort. Um, Angelic Hill was the big attacker. Um, and I was kind of the small attacker protecting Angela Kill and, and attacking other people. So I, I just thought the multiplayer versus mode was probably one of my uh, best moments. Yeah. And uh, Angelica, what was your what was your feelings of the good here? Yeah, my good. I agree with you guys. I thought they did a pretty good job of kind of introducing building uh, to probably new players. I thought it was relatively smooth for the most part. And the online play was really cool. I know there's online campaign. There's also that versus mode. Uh, that you guys mentioned previously. I think they both work pretty well. I also like that the world changes in the versus mode each time you load up into a new match. So it's not the same map. It's not like that repetitive same thing over and over again. So it does bring, um, you know, some new ways to play, which I really like. And I think uh, there's some charm to this game. So I think they did a good job with that. Yeah, Minecraft always has that like little, like the funny goof around type of moments. And you can saw that evidently with the campaign. I think every single time on stream we were watching, like some pig got annihilated every cutscene, and you're like, Jesus, like that's brutal. Um, <laughs> but it was kind of like that joke around, like some crazy stuff's going on. But let's, with every good, we have to talk about the bad. And and I think when I'm looking at the bad, that versus mode has some problems. Or right? I think one of the biggest problems is just to match with your team. Like if you have a squad, like granted, you know, sometimes like we play games where you're by yourself, right? You're just trying to enjoy a solo kind of calm kind of game, a game night. And, and you know, you don't have any people. And sometimes you're like, well, I wish I had some some squad mates to help me out here. We are the opposite of that situation. We have three people of a four person squad ready to roll to play some Minecraft Legends. And let me tell you, it was the most difficult thing to just invite you guys to come play with me. It was just like, I, I have to start the game. 
I gotta help that someone else is match made and put into the lobby. Then I gotta invite one of you. And then we gotta wait for another guy to join the lobby and gotta do it again. And it was just a tedious process. Like, I mean, I thought in 2023, it shouldn't be that difficult to invite someone to a lobby and then search. Now, granted, they might not want you to, you know, have a squad against other people who are just playing by themselves. But at the end of the day, then why even have that as a function, right? I think maybe they need to be clearer on well, whether maybe we should have searches against squad versus squads, minimum of two people, things like that to leave, maybe at least help things go by. Cause even time searching, I mean, granted, I don't think Minecraft legends is like some, some tiny game, right? But, it, but like, it felt like it at times where the game just dropped that first week and we were having long wait times to get people to join our matches. And it's only eight people total. Right. And I think we, and with us three are ready to roll. Like that's the point. So, I think the versus mode has a lot of problems. I th and and there was inst there was instability problems, like the servers were struggling, and we had a whole thing. I built a whole entire fort with a moat, and all of a sudden the whole game crashed. And you're like, I, I me sitting there, like I've been sitting there building this whole time, and then when the game goes out, it's just it's miserable. Like you like I did put all this work in, and that happens. Like that's just annoying. So let's jump to Angelica. Kill. What was your bad here? Yeah, creating teams was was really bad in the public mode and private mode. You know, we only have three, so what are we going to do, 2v1? So you couldn't even have an opportunity. You can create teams in the private mode, but you couldn't, you know, create a squad in the public mode without, you know, waiting for someone to join and inviting, like like you mentioned. And I got to say this, I thought the AI um, was pretty brain dead. Um, the AI in this game, in campaign and in versus, was pretty brain dead. When it's your allies who you're building a bridge, they are taking nose dives off the cliff. They're pretty much Sambuku killing themselves um for no reason whatsoever and even at times the enemy ai was also pretty brain dead i mean i you can be launching artillery strikes you know right next door and there are enemies below you and they won't even come towards you right so you know there are moments like that where the ai definitely feels like it was a step backwards both as allies and enemies um which you know wasn't wasn't the greatest so to me this this game also didn't feel very big you know you mentioned that before didn't feel like there's a lot in it there's a few game modes and there's some repetitive good times that you can have with people but i feel like if you're playing by yourself it could get dull pretty quickly yeah and uh hockey what was your bad here yeah i'm in agreements with you guys um the matchmaking i think was kind of ridiculous we had to hack the system kind of we almost uh weren't able to play we were a little confused and then I don't know who came up with the idea, but we tried to figure it out and it ended up working, thank God. Uh, but yeah, also the you know the servers, like Marsman said, he's building a mode, I'm gathering stuff for 20 minutes and then all of a sudden, um, after Langella kills blowing up the base and we got to 30%, the game just crashes, you know? I, and I know it happens sometimes, but um, you know, if it happens more than more than not, then at that point it, it, it becomes an issue. So, uh, as, as long as they get their, you know, their, their, uh, act together with the, at least the, um, you know, the servers and probably the matchmaking, I think, you know, it's fixable issues that they have. Yeah, no, that, and that's going to lead us right into our next segment, which is going to be rating and obviously telling you whether you, what our opinions on whether you should buy this now later or not, but let's start with the rating. Um, this is obviously a, uh, a game when you look at overall ratings of uh, Minecraft Legends there it's kind of a mix between you have a lot of people kind of agreeing with like Metacritic at a 72 and Open Critic at 72 and on the PC for Metacritic is 68 so they're thinking it's around that area of around 70 and, and I, I would kind of agree with them there I think overall if I'm going to go with official rating I give it a 7.0 I think this game has some fun components to it um, but I feel like me personally, I can't play this alone. I feel like if I'm playing this by myself, I'd, I'd honestly be miserable because I'm just, you know, doing the little things, scavenging, building, you know, by, uh, controlling my troops all by myself, especially in the campaign mode. I think it'd be pretty brutal to do. And, you know, yeah, I think the story mode was pretty solid, has some cool concepts. And I feel like, you know, the, the versus mode is really what dampered my kind of my fun here. I felt like that. The longness of finding games was annoying. The game itself is a long one. So it's like, you know, it's an investment of time. Like we we played some games on stream. Like we played several games like on campaign. We did a lot of stuff on campaign, but you know, versus modes took a while to find matches, you know, play, you know, first get to the match, right? To invite people 
right? Find people there, then get to the match, and then it takes, takes a while, which is okay, because the match will take some time. But after all that, and then the servers crash, I mean, I feel like all that stuff kind of gave me that sour taste in my mouth. I think it's that's a seven for me um, overall. But let's jump to Langella Kill next. What was your rating? I agree with you. I give it a 7.0 um, out of 10. There are some fun aspects, definitely playing with people. But, you know, we say pretty much when you play with people at any time you have a good time so you know we can't give too many brownie points for saying your co-op is fun because most games are fun with co-op so yeah. you know there are some good aspects to it but there's some flaws that really do hamper you and like you said the waiting time some of the server issues um and again some of the ai it does put a damper on this yeah hockey let's jump to you lastly rating what'd you think yeah, so I have it a little bit higher than you guys. I have it at a 7.5. Um, but, I mean, pretty much for all the same reasons that you guys have it at a 7.0. Um, again, it has some issues that I think can be fixable. Um, pretty simple issues, I think, at least with the matchmaking and the servers. Hopefully they can get on that. Um, but other than that, this is a game, you know, that I never thought that I would even pick up. And I'm sure you guys were the same way. And we ended up playing it for, you know, a long time and having a good time, again, with um, playing with each other, which again, like Langella Killer just highlighted, is a big part of just video games in general and having fun with your friends. So if you do have friends, and uh, hopefully have friends, but if you have friends and, and <laughs> Minecraft is something that you've thought about, it's, it is it, it is a pretty cool game. It can, it, it can be a fun game. Yeah, and uh, let's jump to the last part. Did you buy these now, later, or not at all? And Overall, when I'm thinking about this game, I think it's best to play this later. I feel like over, when you first jump into it, and we saw this on stream, is there's not lots to do, right? There's really the story, which is obviously a decent size, the versus mode, which is, takes time to do, it takes time to even get into the match, and obviously the Lost Colony. So they'll be adding these kind of periodically. And in some parts, me feel like they're going to start charging you money for these, like especially with season passes and things like that. The first one's free, but free does not sound like a, a common word when it comes to the modern gaming so i feel like with that being the case buying it later might be make more sense because on top of that this is a 40 dollars game if you're buying this from any from other consoles um on pc it's on game pass which is obviously a good thing but the added the addition of the content is going to charge you more and i feel like that's where i'm going to get a little like you know what i'd rather just wait till later i feel like that'd be my opinion uh, but let's go to Hakeem next. Did you buy this now, later, or not at all? Yeah, so I had this one split up a little bit. Uh, if I think if you're a Minecraft fan, you buy it now because you'll probably love the game. Um, it has everything that, obviously, the old Minecraft has, but uh, a lot more when it comes to, obviously, you know, being able to play with people in different variations. So if you're a Minecraft veteran, I would buy it now. For anyone that is on, uh, you know, Microsoft's Game Pass, uh, if you're a subscriber, I would download it now and I would try it if you have a, a group uh, of friends that you play video games with. Even if you don't, it's free on Game Pass, so I would just try it out and see how you like it. Uh, but yeah, uh, $40 for anywhere else, any other console. I would be hesitant. I'm probably going to stick with Marsman uh, as a buy later or, you know, rented somewhere game fly or something like that if you really want to try it out uh because forty dollars i probably wouldn't spend forty dollars on this after playing it yeah uh legelica what'd you feel like for this yeah one? i mean again this is 39.99 standard price the deluxe price is 49.99 so that's for all consoles and if you're not on game pass um we all tried it on game pass so that is something that does change it but i'm at a buy later as well this is not worth forty dollars this feels like a 20 or 30 dollar dlc of minecraft um and so to me it doesn't reach that 40 dollar content and so i would wait if i'm not on game pass um for this price to drop a little bit and so i'm at a buy later but there are fun aspects to it so i'm not at the don't buy at all just it's not worth the 40 dollars. but if you're on game pass i think it is worth trying out yeah and uh that's gonna be it for the video guys what do you think about minecraft legends whether you played it or not i want you to tell us in the comments below and if you haven't done so yet consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing for more future content you can join us also on twitch we stream two to three days a week also located in the description below as well as our socials located there as well but we're gonna head off for the night guys thank you for stopping by see you next time this is marsman from marsman gaming signing off peace out guys <laughs>